Now, since we've looked at the textbook definition of CI CD and we've understood some of the benefits of it, let's understand the key differences between CI and CD, uh, specifically the two CDs that exist, the delivery and the deployment part, so that when you come across this concept and you're reading it uh, somewhere, you can better relate to it. So let's get started. Let's understand the CI part first. So uh, essentially, when you look at this part, right, this is a set of practices which, uh, which essentially allows a developer to plan to code um, and to make changes uh, to their code uh, till the time it comes to a point where it can be tested. Uh, however, the key point here is it, they have to do it in a reliable and more importantly, a repeatable way, right? So let's take an example. Uh, let's say uh, a developer is making a banking application uh, where uh, you know, parts of it have to be planned in line with APIs which connect to uh, third-party services, merchant services, payment services, etc. And they've they've planned something. They 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 look at the look look at the plan. They look at the code. They look at they make changes, and they reach a point where they built a code, and then now they have to test. Can they make it make the process in a manner where they are using a, a, a set of tools which allows them to do it reliably? and two more repeatably, right? So it's not like a legacy way of developing things where you wait for the previous step to get completed, then the next step comes forward, then the next step come forward and something that goes wrong in the middle, you have to start all over again. That's not how it's meant to be. So it's supposed to be a, a very efficient and repeatable way where you bring in that practice as a process and it, it is sort of de dealt with with a complete uh, framework of CI. That's the continuous integration part. Now, if you move to the other side, the CD part, this is essentially all the practice that uh, someone takes from the perspective of taking that code and delivering it or deploying it as well, right? So let's look at the delivery part first. Now the delivery part is essentially put in a rubber stamp of the same definition, but on the deployment or the delivery side, where you make sure that you release your deployment, everything that you've planned is done again in the same reliable way, repeatable way. And when it comes to deployment, you are able to achieve the same principle, the same reliability, the same repeatability, but from the perspective of being able to operate and monitor. Right, so this is where the process gets complete. So it's essentially a standard set textbook definition across all the three components of CI, CD, both D's included. Uh, but how you look at it from a perspective of a framework and how you're supported by the tools which help you achieve that and you keep all of this in mind to achieve these benefits at the end of the day. So that is a real difference between CI and CD. Hope this was uh, useful for you. Uh, and if you want, you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. I'll do my best to uh, answer any when, one of them or if it warrants for another video, why not? So this is about the differences between CI and CD. Until next one, this is Pritesh signing off from Cloud Tech Talks. Thank you.